Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I do want to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for supporting me and for the wonderful comments and for coming from all over the world. It's amazing to me. It's absolutely amazing. I have a few items for you today. The first one, <clears throat> excuse me, is titled A New Elitist Craze, Fixing the Public's Perception of the Economy. This one is, well, shall we say, interesting. Quote, people are really tying, tying, Bidenomics and their perception of the economy to the inflation rate, said Matt Mundy of Morning Consult in a new Bloomberg story titled Biden's Gains Against Trump Vanish Against Deep Economic Pessimism Poll Shows. It's the latest entrant in an intensifying command campaign excuse me, to describe voters, especially in key electoral swing states, as morons and partisan haters who will deny reality itself out of political spite. So, here's what you're being asked to believe. When you go to the grocery store and the food costs twice as much as it did two years ago, when you go to the gas station and gas costs $2 more a gallon than it did two years ago, when you get food at a restaurant and it costs twice as much as it did two years ago. That's just your delusion. You don't really understand. This is a great economy. That's what they're saying. You are denying reality out of political spite. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, folks. I mean, this... The people like this are just so completely out of touch that it's mind-boggling. It is really mind-boggling. And they think that you're stupid enough to fall for it. Now, I want to show you this. Okay, stop. I want to show you this because I found it interesting. This is the CEO of Palantir. And he's talking about students in elite schools. I am not a legislator, but I am running one of the coolest companies in the world. And I'm telling young people, you are breathing the vapors of a dangerous, new, fake, and uh, self-destructive religion when you are sitting at your elite school pretending because you watched TikTok twice and got an A-plus on some crazy paper because your professor couldn't get a job anywhere else, that you actually understand the world. And you're not welcome at my company. Yeah. I <laughs> Interesting, huh? I just thought that was worth watching. Don't ask me why. <laughs> <clears throat> the next article I have is We Exposed Censorship by Brazil's Supreme Court and Now President Lula is Persecuting Me. It's a Substack article and you're welcome to read it. It's by Matt Schellenberger. I think that's his name. Let me see. Is it Matt Schellenberger? We can look it up here. Michael, sorry, Michael Schellenberger. It's an article by Michael Schellenberger. Uh, and he talks about what's going on in Brazil and, and how bad the censorship is now. And for all my Brazilian viewers, I'm praying for you guys. I've got you on my special prayer list. I hope that things can turn around, but it's going to take God to do it. Now, the next article I have... The next two articles I have are from Cheryl Atkinson. I've mentioned her several times on my daily news clips. She is a former CBS reporter who went out on her own because CBS would not let her report the stories that she wanted to report. So she's now an independent journalist. Excuse me. <coughs> she's now an independent journalist reporting on her own. And this article is entitled, Top Fauci Advisor Subpoenaed. 
And this was interesting because I'm still pretty upset about the COVID thing. It just was, there were so many things that were wrong with it. Dr. David Morins, a top advisor to Dr. Anthony Fauci when he was at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, is being asked to hand over documents from his personal email account related to COVID-19. Recent whistleblower allegations reportedly revealed new additional evidence that Morins intentionally used his personal email to hide conversations about the origins of COVID-19 and subvert federal transparency laws. Not the first time this has happened, not the last time. Hillary Clinton did the same thing. Everybody in government is doing this now because they're all corrupt, every single one of them. Well, not 100%, okay? Not 100%. There are still some decent people in government, but not many. And they're, they're completely overwhelmed by all the corrupt people. In one email, Morins appears to have disclosed Fauci's efforts <clears throat> and provided Daz Dazic, he's the uh, CEO of EcoHealth Alliance, which is the company that used federal funds and bypassed the ban on uh, gain-of-function research by spending those funds at the Wuhan lab in China. That's how bad it is. With information about internal deliberations related to EcoHealth Alliance's grant supervision, Morins wrote in an email to Dazdak, Tony is now fully aware, I think, and is, I am told, involved in some sort of damage control. <sighs> Why be honest when you can do damage control? In another email, Dazdak agrees to contact Morins using his personal Gmail account instead of his government email account to communicate about information related to COVID-19 and NIAID grants stating, David, we'll communicate with you via Gmail from now on. And then adds, we have 15,000 samples in freezers in Wuhan. Now, are you going to try and tell me that they, these people didn't know what was going on? That they didn't understand what they were doing? They knew exactly what they were doing. They were engaging in the most dangerous type of research known to man, which is gain-of-function research, where they alter viruses to make them more lethal and more powerful. And they did that with our tax dollars in complete defiance of the federal ban on gain-of-function research. It angers me so much. This next article by Cheryl is entitled The Indoctrinated Brain, and this one made me sit back and go, oh my God. <clears throat> Dr. Michael Nels <clears throat> is a molecular geneticist and former CEO of a biotech company. His new book, The Indoctrinated Brain, offers a novel explanation for why he says some people uh, seem to blindly do as they were told during the COVID pandemic, even when the advice was questionable or bad. Niels argues, Nels, I guess it is, N-E-H-L-S, so I guess it's Nels. Nels argues that the COVID vaccine damaged our body's ability to produce cells responsible for decision-making. Oh, Nels, conscious thinking, Nels, says this conscious thinking requires these cells to be produced and if they're not produced conscious thinking is not possible and then we are just sheep following the herd nell says both covid and the vaccine causes measurable brain damage changes that can affect people's ability to think clearly and critically and he argues that's by design Oh my God. So what he's arguing is that the COVID vaccine was created to alter the brains of people so that they would be more submissive. That's earth shattering news. That's stunning. That's 
Unbelievable. What are you going to say to that? I mean, what, what can you possibly say to that? It's it's a it's a evil evil world that we live in with evil people who seem to have control and are obviously working at odds with us. I guarantee you if they were doing this in the US, they were aware of it in Britain and France and Germany and other places. They knew what was going on. This is a worldwide problem. That's the news for today. And as usual, I pray for you that you will live an abundant life, that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he will do the same for every person that you love. But I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out. <laughs>